He's a better offensive player. He's a better defensive player. He's a better cut clutch player. He's a better leader, and he's a better teammate. Simple a better that. leader? Yes, he's a better leader. He's a better, a better leader. He, he he's a better leader. He's not a coach killer. How many coaches have, have LeBron James had in this group? You don't even know, right? You we, we don't even know. We can't even we can't even stop count. Are you are okay? you are you kidding me? Are are you are you kidding me? The man no, has not. Michael Jordan has been coached by a Hall of Fame coach his whole career. All right. And Coach Scott, I'm going to start with you on this one. <laughs> I know you would. I knew you would. Listen, listen. You know, you my guy, man. We go way back. Uh, we played Little League football together. And we, we went to school together, you know, way back when. And I didn't know you was going to grow up this way. I didn't know you was going to be raised. Like, I'm just playing. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Coach Scott, all seriousness, come on now. Why do LeBron fans hate Michael Jordan fans so much? What is it about them wanting to make LeBron the GOAT so bad that they're doing everything within their power to tarnish not only Michael Jordan, all right? They have now, as we just said in the last segment, they're going to the point of tar tarnishing the 80s and the 90s because if you can make his competition weak, well, guess what? Well, he he he's not a good player because he had no competition. If I can say Magic was 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 uh, uh, washed up, Bird wasn't that good. The 80s was trash. Clyde Drexler, oh, he was a nobody. Well, guess what then? Well, Michael Jordan ain't played nobody. Of course he looked good. All right. Now, in comparison to LeBron James, you know he played everybody. He played all these Hall of Famers, and so. They're going to the extent, Coach Scott, in order to pull Jordan down, they have to pull everything down around him. That's called hate, right? I hate you so much, I'm pulling everything else around you down. What's going on? I'm not saying you, but what's going on with these LeBron fans, man? This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Listen, I, I don't know what circles you guys kind of roll in. I don't know. I don't know what... What Social what media. your what your Facebook fans and Twitter fans and I, I don't I don't know the people y'all talk to man I don't see this and 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 Mike fans his minions y'all need to stop you you guys are you guys are look you stop it stop you you cannot blame everything on LeBron James I know it is it is a hard it's a hard pill to swallow that somebody else would dub themselves how dare somebody dub themselves the king of the court how dare somebody but listen here's what i i, I did some recon this week I, I really wanted to when we brought this up you know i was i was really intrigued by this conversation so i did some recon and i actually interviewed a good amount of people a good people a good bit of people who physically like lebron a great amount of people love Mike and 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 I and I kept saying the same thing with the Mike fans I'm like hey hey look I'm asking from a subjective standpoint I'm, I'm not telling you who I like or who I'm not I'm just asking the question and here's what I got from the LeBron fans versus what I got from the Mike fans Mike fans you don't listen you don't just you do not listen you have it already programmed in your head that Michael Jordan is the best and that's it and that's fine but if you're gonna have a debate if you're gonna have a conversation please just listen to someone else's point the second thing you always start the conversation with what lebron james has not done you cannot just state what the greatness of michael jordan is that kills me that kills me the third thing what both people don't say and what a lot of Mike fans do is they want it both ways. You want the stats when they're in Mike's favor, but you don't want the stats when it's not in Mike's favor. I know you need to get you some sleep early in the day, and then when you get on the show, you can have a lot of rest. No problem. Uh, look, I don't want to hear about Michael Jordan taking two years off no more. That's his business. He took them two years off. Well, if he would have played, if he should have played, if he could have played, what would have been what could have been we don't give a damn he didn't play leave it alone and let's move forward five listen you're not gonna change anyone's mind about who they like so just debate what your point is and move forward and stop acting like michael jordan did not play with other great players he led them 
He led them in a phenomenal way. He put them on his back at times, but he's not the only person on the court. He was not the only person on the court and he was not God. Mm. <sighs> okay, so- um... You need to get you some rest in the daytime. <laughs> I don't know if I got an answer to my question, Coach. I want to know why LeBron fans hate. I just told Michael you. Jordan fans so those much. are the five reasons right there. Oh, so those are the five reasons. Okay. All right. All right. Um, Michael I Jordan fans are the a... new Dallas Cowboy fans. <laughs> I think it's I think not that you hate up... the Cowboys. You just hate their fans. Uh, uh, well, no, I could probably agree with that. But I think there's <laughs> a little bit of bias in seeing that response. Coach J.O., what's going on, man? I know we have the GOAT debate, and as the show is called The GOAT Debate, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. So we have the GOAT debate. You got Mike Jordan and you got LeBron James. It's okay. But it comes a point in time where the fanship gets ridiculous. Like, I, me personally, Coach Dale, Coach Scott, there are some LeBron fans I won't even debate. I just turn them off. I'm like, I'm not finna say and do this with you. When you start saying Magic Johnson wasn't a good player, when you say Larry yeah. Bird wasn't a good player, when you say yeah. Clyde Drexler was a bench warmer, like, listen, bro, when you say they play in a league full of plumbers, right? Yeah. But guess what? Yeah. LeBron James has to go to one of those plumbers to learn how to play down low, named Hakeem Olajuwon. That's the type of league Michael Jordan played in. He played in. He played with guys named Hakeem Olajuwon, and we can, the list just goes on and on. So when you start saying nonsense like that, guess what? If we on the phone, it goes click. If we online, it goes boop, block. I'm not even dealing with you because now you're just being ridiculous. Coach Shale, why is it so, to such an extreme that LeBron James fans just, just hate Michael Jordan fans? I don't I hate Michael Jordan shots. I just, I just don't get it. Oh, it's easy. He can't catch the ghost that he admitted to chasing. He admitted that he was chasing the ghost. He can't catch, he can't catch the ghost. That's fine. Let me ask you a question, Coach Scott. I'm going to paint this picture of this player and tell me what kind of player or what kind of career this player will have. If I told you a player was an MVP, two-time finals MVP, nine-time scoring champ, four-time all-defense first team, three-time steel leader, two-time dunk uh, contest champion, and got his re uh, jersey retired by a team he didn't play for. Uh, what kind of career? You, would you say that person had, or stellar. that player? A stellar, stellar, player. A stellar, stellar right? You do realize LeBron James will have to do all of that, what I just stated, to catch Michael Jordan. No, he he would have to do all of that to catch Michael Jordan. He wouldn't. Do you understand that? You do. What, what year is Michael Jordan? I mean, what year is LeBron James playing in? Year 21? Yes. yes, he is playing in year okay. 21. Is, do you not understand what I just said? He literally would have to do everything that I just stated to catch Michael Jordan. That's why LeBron James fans hate Michael Jordan because they cannot catch the ghost. The ghost is gone. You can't see him. You never will. Okay. This isn't a fair fight. Let it go. Let it go. All right. I'm not, I'm not even an MJ fan. That's the point. I'm not. Okay? I rooted against MJ. The few, I mean, the games that I did watch him play live, I rooted against them. He was too good. He was too good. I wanted him to lose. But he didn't. I'm not an MJ fan. He's just too good. Okay? You cannot catch the ghost. It's over with. I hey. Unbiased opinion right there. I wanted him to lose, but he did. All right, so Coach Coach Scott, let's 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 get into this a little bit. Let's just talk about it a little bit. We know this ain't the Tuesday nights where we do actually do the goat debates, but you know uh, we upload those on Wednesdays. But let's go ahead and jump into this a little bit because there's a reason, and I, I agree with Coach Jo. I know where I believe that the reason LeBron James fans hate Jordan fans so much because they know they can't catch the ghost, you know? And there are so many things. Now, what, what Coach J.O. just listed off was an entire Hall of Fame career. An entire Hall of Fame career. Now, I heard you say that he, LeBron James doesn't have to catch do that to catch MJ. Okay, fine. But we still, it's fair to, to say there's still a Hall of Fame career that separates Jordan from LeBron. 
And that Hall of Fame career was completed in 13, some people gonna say 15, but that was completed in 13 seasons. And LeBron has played 21 seasons. So I'm gonna pass you the mic, but I got a question for you. <clears throat> Let's just be honest. Let's be honest. We're both businessmen. So here's my question. If businessman A made $50 million in five years, businessman B made $20 million in 15 years, which one would you consider the better businessman? Listen, listen, let's talk about. No, I need, I need an answer to that question before you go. Let's I need talk clean. about basket. Let's talk nope, about No, that's an example. Which one is the better businessman? What's, 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 what's your, what's your boxing question again? Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's your boxing question again? It's not a boxing question. It's a logical question because it makes sense in every aspect of life. Every other way. Everybody say businessman A, businessman A, because he accomplished more in less time. And, and businessman and less B time. did less and more and with more time. He still couldn't do what businessman A did. That makes sense in every aspect of life itself today in basketball. Why? And, and here's, and here's what i just got done explaining there's so many different circumstances that plays into business as you know and as i know hey man let's we just got done talking about it we we literally just got done talking about these silly people talking about draymond green versus the larry bird's career we just got done talking about it yeah i literally spent a weekend interviewing people to try and understand this. I I spend a weekend going back and really trying to understand why fans that, hey, we love you fans, by the way, keep commenting, keep liking, keep subscribing, we love you. Hey, I'm trying to figure out why fans are coming for my head based off of the statements that I made about Michael Jordan. Hey, I like Michael Jordan. I like Michael Jordan. I'm a Michael Jordan fan. He's just not, like God to me, he, he's not, he's not my, he's, he, I didn't say Reggie Miller said it. He, he's, he was basketball Jesus. I, I didn't say, he, I, I don't agree with that personally, but I think he was a phenomenal player. Larry Bird. But hey, Larry Bird, that was great. Well, Larry Bird. But, but hey, look, here's what I'm saying. There's so many different circumstances that play into era. They don't even play the same position, guys. This, this is what, this is the bad part about the argument in some respects. The greatness of LeBron James, again, it doesn't come from him being the most elite competitor like Michael Jordan. That's what makes Mike my 1A. I continue to say this, but Mike fans don't listen. That's the first key to Michael Jordan fans. Y'all no, don't think, listen. I think, I think they just believe LeBron's just not the 1B. I think that's what it is. <laughs> I, they heard the one A. They just don't believe LeBron's the one B. But go ahead, finish your point. And, and, and that and that's and that's fine. If you don't believe that that LeBron James is a one B player that, of greatest of all time, not the greatest athlete that has ever played the game in any aspect in any respect of the basketball game, if you can't see where LeBron James has made himself a top five player of all time in any respect of the game, rebounds, blocks, steals, assists, in any aspect, scoring. If you don't see that, that's your problem. But what I'm saying is, Mike is the GOAT from his competitive greatness and his skill set. He's proven it. He's proven it. He's proven it. But what I'm saying to you guys is this. You got to start listening. You got to start making it a respectable argument because you're not doing it when you no say way. that's unfair. That's unfair. no, they're not. You, you guys are the, the, coach J.O. just brought in a dunk contest. Since when does a <laughs> slam dunk competition make you the best basketball player in basketball? Let me let, let me. All right. I'm going to let coach J.O. respond to that. But I want to put out that I do not believe that lebron has messed up i think that was a foolish statement made by stephen a smith i don't think lebron messed up the, the dunk contest all right i seen lebron james uh high school dunk competition we have to understand when it comes to that lebron is not a creative dunker he's not one of them under the legs behind the back hit a front flip he's a power dunker all right remember we have we I will, I will give you this we do have to remember the guy is a four he just plays point a lot he's a four though he's a big guy 
So I don't agree with that narrative that LeBron messed up the dunk contest. Um, but here's what I would say, and I'm, I'm going to let Coach, Coach J.O. get in here. Now, when you say that, you know, Mike fans don't listen, and, you know, these other things that you just said, I think it's unfair because it's not Michael Jordan fans who are seeking to destroy errors <laughs> just to bring Michael Jordan down. That's not Jordan fans, okay? These are LeBron fans that's running with these narratives. It's not It's not Michael Jordan fans creating narratives that Scottie Pippen has to always, always guard the best players because Michael Jordan had no defense, by the way, which is which we kind of destroyed that narrative on the last show. So I you know, disagree, it's, though. It, it's go, it, there are some fanatic Michael Jordan fans, I'll be honest. But don't sit here and act like the LeBron fans are just the most logical people walking the planet. They are saying some crazy stuff out here. I I tell you what, here, here's what I here's what I'll say. Here's what I'll say. If Coach J.O. can give me five points, five points without saying what LeBron James did not accomplish. That is why Michael Jordan is just so much better outside of a slam dunk competition and 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 and, and retired jerseys and all this other good stuff. If 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 he can if he can go into that, hey, I'll listen. Because prior to, he's never done it. He's never done it. He's done what the 50 other people that I actually spoke with this weekend have done. They go into everything LeBron James has not done. They go into the errors different. You could hand check. It was way more physical. They try to destroy this era of basketball from what I've personally heard. But I I, I don't know. Okay. All right. Fair. All right. Coach A.O., it's on you. Oh, You want me to answer that question, Coach? He's a better offensive player. He's a better defensive player. He's a better cut clutch player. He's a better leader. And he's a better teammate. A better leader? Yes, he's a better leader. He's a better, a better leader. He, he He's a better leader. He's not a coach killer. How many coaches have, have LeBron James had in his career? You don't even know, right? You're, we, we don't even know. We can't even, we can't even stop count. Are you, are okay? you, are you kidding me? Are, are you, are you kidding me? The man no, has, not. Michael Jordan has been coached by a Hall of Fame coach his whole career. How did he his become whole a career. Hall of Fame coach? How did he become a Hall of Fame coach? Oh, okay, are you, exactly. Are you kidding me? Where, where was he before Michael Jordan? So, where so was he, he after he, Michael Jordan. He, look, where was was where was he after Michael Jordan? Winning championships, yeah. winning championships. He did. He won the championship when uh, Jordan left. He he won when he went to L.A. Did he? No, not? no, 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 no. Jordan did first not, retired. No, 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 no. Did he, he not win? You, I mean, you I mean, asked. Did he win? The specific did he win question you when Jordan left. The specific question you asked me was, what did he do when Jordan left? Yes, so on my, his first retirement, what did he do? All right. What did he do? Went to Eastern Conference fi- uh, Finals Championship. But Eastern Conference Semifinal. Eastern Conference Semifinal. <laughs> Semifinal. He went to an Eastern Conference semifinal with with no Michael Jordan. Whoop de doo. <laughs> Whoop de doo. Whoop de doo. Right. Whoop de doo. Whoop de doo. Okay. Mr. The Hall a- of Fame. A- coach. A- after after, after that, after that, he goes and wins multiple championships outside of Michael Jordan. No, 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 no. He down. did it. Slow down. Slow, 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 slow down. He did slow it. Slow down. You got to slow down. But did he, he not won, though? He won multiple championships. I told you earlier, Coach J.O., you do the most. Yeah, look, you are going into politics. I'm, I'm calling it. Hey, slow down. Hey, I'm he calling. It. You're going into politics with the real one B, with the oh. real one B. Okay, that's who he won multiple championships with. Kobe, the real one B. All right. All right. Let's not get this twisted. Well, so here's the thing. Let's go over a few statistics. I want to read a few things off. We do understand that Michael Jordan has won 11 championships, right? 11. Somebody look at me like, 11 championships? I only remember six. Well, six in the NBA. You got two FIBA, right? You got two Olympic, and then you got one NCAA. Every time this man has been in the championship, he has won. Any championship, he has won. Not only that, <clears throat> when we look at, all right, look at the top, the all-time leading scorers. The top six, right, all-time leading scorers, every last one of them played at least 19 years in the NBA, except for one who got there in 13. Guess what his name is? 
It ain't LeBron James. Michael Jordan, all right? So this is a man who didn't, he did what he did in a shorter period of time. That's not it. When we do the comparisons, because this is, see, this is why we, we had a conversation because there's a lot of things missing from the argument when it comes You're to right. the newer it generation. Is a lot that's missing. It is a lot that's missing. That's why when we I, take yeah. snapshots of their career side by side at 25, at 30, at 35, you 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 see the lopsided in the lopsidedness in the numbers. We do get a chance to actually break that down. And I cannot wait till we get on Tuesday night's GOAT debate to really get into that and deep dive into the specifics of it. Again, okay. <clears throat> again, I'm not saying that Michael Jordan is not the greatest basketball. No, wait, 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 wait. We're not saying you're saying it. The question was, why does LeBron James fans hate Jordan, Jordan so much? And the reason is, like Coach uh, I, 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 I think that he's that's chasing a ghost. I think that that's a narrative. Well, he, that's he's a chasing a ghost that he cannot catch. And therefore, since he can't catch it, narratives are being created. They are being created. You know what? And I, on the, on the next quote, I don't, baby, I don't we, think, the goal debate think. that we have about Michael Jordan and LeBron James, we definitely got to open the phone lines. We're just going to dedicate the entire show, phone lines open, and we're going to have that conversation. You know? Yeah. It, yeah. I, me beating down, beating the LeBron fans down on Clubhouse ain't fun enough. We got to open up the phone lines. <laughs> <laughs> we got to open them up. But there is so much more to go into what's going on between Michael Jordan and, and, and LeBron James, but there is no, no close. He's not a close second. And, and again, I know you say Michael Jordan is the 1A, but that's why everybody listening is like, what? No, nah, we don't think LeBron's 1B, except for LeBron fans. They're going to so say So he's that. not your 1B anymore? Now, don't take my words out of context. I was talking about the longevity. I give him that longevity argument. But as far as the greatest player, because remember, we did our top five. LeBron wasn't in my. <laughs> remember? Let's remember. Let's be accurate. Longevity, I, I respect. He, he's longevity, although there may be an asterisk there. We'll see. You know, but... Longevity, if that asterisk is, is erased, then by all means, he's the greatest player to play for that long of a period of time. But is he but is he like the GOAT or the next two GOAT? No. No. No, we're not. We're not saying that. We're not saying that. Coach Dale, I'll give you the final word before we go to the Sound next like Scotty Pippen, huh? <laughs> Coach Dale. Sound man. like Scotty Pippen, man. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. No, nah, I was very, I was very clear. I was very clear on what I said. I was very clear. I didn't flip flop. I still said the same thing I said then. Very clear. Listen, right. listen, brother. As I told you before, this is the phony goat debate. All right, the the M MJ versus LeBron. That's the phony goat debate. It's phony. Okay, it doesn't have any legs to stand on. None. Okay, LeBron James has a Swiss cheese career. Too many holes in it. Okay, too many holes. And the more you you the more you climb up that tree, trying to bark bark at Jordan, the more holes get exposed. Right. Okay. You gotta let it go. You got to let it go. Right. Right. And and not only that, you know, we should be talking about Kobe Bryant in the goat debate. We should be talking. Hey, we should put Larry Bird in the goat debate. Magic Johnson should be Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. There's more players that should be in the goat debate. It literally shouldn't be Jordan versus LeBron. I don't think you know we, when when Coach Leo says the phony goat debate. I understand where he's coming from. But with that being said, we're going to move to the next segment. Welcome to The Goat Debate, the premier online sports debate show where engaging discussions and thrilling debates unfold as we determine who is the greatest of all time in every sport. I am your host, Abaya Israel, joined by my two co-hosts, Coach Scott and Coach J.O. Tune into our YouTube and Facebook channels to catch our reactions and coverage of the biggest games and the latest news. Don't miss out on your chance to participate in the action. Join us every Tuesday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for The Goat Debate, where you, the viewer, can call in and share your thoughts on who deserves the title of the GOAT. Be sure to mark your calendars. Every Monday, we upload 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, and we go live every Tuesday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be sure to subscribe, call in, and participate. Come and be a part of the conversation.